Start to move the hips around. Back knee up or down. I like to put the back knee down as we're warming up. So we're creating all the space in this body for what, right? If we're moving through yoga, we're in our habitual thoughts, maybe in a negative energy, then we're just creating more space for that, right? Yoga is not inherently great. Palms under the wrists, and the right leg up and back. Stack hips all open. So we have to be really intentional as we create space. So you can circle anything out about what you're feeling with it, right? What's the frequency? Square the hips, lengthen the right leg, right foot steps through. Set the back knee on the earth and rise the arms on the day. Awesome. Stay really lift it through the sideways of the pelvis, move forward and down. Close your eyes, find the breath. Take the hips back, half of splits pose. Pelvis rotates forward, sits pose, lift up and back, spine is straight. Right, so the last couple of weeks we've been working with this breath and attuning to a higher frequency. And it's just another way to think about why. Can you see? Creating vacuums in your body. Hi. What's the energy that you're going to fill it with? Crawl it forward, lift the back knees, spin the back heel down. Lower your two. Close your eyes. So this is where we move that breath through the body, filling our field, right? With that new frequency, filling the vacuums in our body. The vacuums we create, the space we create. So the central channel, we inhale. We attune, right, to what we want to fill the vacuums we create with. Love, gratitude, inspiration, compassion, right? And then we send that frequency out and around. Press down, rise up, parallel the inside edge of the feet. Exhale, straddle, fold. Close your eyes. Tune into the breath. It's an interesting concept to think about, right? If we're not really intentional with our yoga practice, we're just creating more space for all of our dramas. Halfway lift, breath in. Low lunge, front of the studio, breath out. Firm down through the hands, step it back to plain pose. Heels of the hands back, toes forward, quads firm. Pelvic floor, navel in. Close your eyes. Lift back, down dog. Left leg pulls high, breath in. Left foot steps wide, breath out. Right knee up or down your choice. Start to move through the hips. Close your eyes. My hip flexors, I run a lot, I spin a lot, I ride my bike a lot. They're always tight. So I love to sway through my hips and just move through the whole front of that back hip. See up down through the hands, lift the right knee up, sweep the left leg up and back, left heel to left sitting bone. You're welcome to 
circle anything out, you're welcome to hold static. Close your eyes and breathe. Square the hips, left foot steps through. Right knee down, more work into that right hip. Anjune Asana. Keeping that rise out of the sideways, the tailbone down, the navel in, the pubic bone moving forward, the tailbone down, right? So we're lifting. Breath in. Exhale into a hamstring stretch, half of splits pose. Sits bones look, rotate towards the back, heart pulls towards the front. Take the weight back forward into the left foot. Lift the right knee up, spin the right heel down. Warrior two, where we pause, where we breathe, where we think about this idea of vacuums being created. What do we fill that space with, right? Our habitual thoughts, the energy, the frequency we're already in, or do we move somewhere new? Let the heat build, pull the inhale into the heart, attune to the frequency, think about how you're filling the new space, and then exhale, send it out and around. Inhale, press up to victory pose, parallel the inside edge of the feet, and exhale, straddle fold. Close your eyes. Breathe. Halfway lift, breath in. Low lunge, front of the studio, breath out. Plank pose, breath in. Let's march it out this time. Lift the right heel, make sure you use the glute to create that lift. Squeeze it in, heels the hands back, pull the knee forward. Step to plank, lift, feel the glute fire, squeeze, march it out, put pause as you lift your leg, pause. You'll feel the glute really activate if you don't rush through this. Lift back. Downward facing dog, let the heels rest towards the earth, the bones lift. Close your eyes, take a few breaths. Right leg pulls high, breath in. Right foot steps through, breath out. Inhale, high lunge, breath in. Exhale, forward fold, breath out. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep it up, rush the sky. Exhale, thumbs connect, heart center. Reach up, look up, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. As you inhale, right toes step back, fingertips rise, high lunge. Exhale, step right into down dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, plug in. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left toes back, high lunge. Exhale, down dog. Close your eyes. Little lunar salutation. 
Let the heels settle toward the earth. This is the foot lift. Press the earth the waist and the eye and the elbow forward. Right leg high. Right foot steps. High lunge with your inhale. Forward fold with your exhale. Flat back, inhale. Fold down, exhale. Sweep it up, inhale. Connect to center, exhale. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Right toes back. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step through. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, rise. Exhale, connect. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Left toes back. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, down dog. Close your eyes. We're going to take that through one more time. Take a breath or two. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step through. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, connect. Reach up, look up, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Right toes back, high lunge, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Left leg high, inhale. Left foot steps through, exhale. High lunge, inhale. Fold it up, front of the mat, exhale. Flat back, inhale. Fold it and down, exhale. Sweep it up, brush the sky, inhale. Thumbs connected, heart center, exhale. Reach up, look up, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Left toes back, high lunge, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale, close your eyes, attune to the breath. Feel that flow, that uptick in prana, life force energy. Heels lift, knees bend, weight back. Step hop, float, feet to hands. Halfway lift, breath in. Fold down into the hip crease, breath out. Reach for the sun, the moon, the stars, breath in. Thumbs connect, heart center, breath out. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, your journey, down dog. Quads are active and up dog. Lifting back, down dog. Close your eyes. Really let the heels settle as the kneecaps lift, stretch. Heels lift, knees bend, weight back, feet to hands. Halfway lift, breath in. Fold down into the hip crease, breath out. Sweep it up, brush the sky, inhale. Thumbs connect, heart center, exhale. Reach, fold. Flat back, down dog. Excuse my dog, you can maybe hear him barking in the background, your journey, maybe it's chaturanga and up dog, maybe it's right into down dog, maybe your knees are down for chaturanga. Close your eyes, down dog. Heels lift, knees bend, wake up, feet to hands. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold down into the hip crease, exhale. 
Sweep it up, brush the sky, inhale. Thumbs connect, heart center. Exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flatten. Exhale to flow your journey to down dog. Turn the quads into the bones, squeeze the scapula back and up dog, lift back, down dog, close your eyes. Ha. Side out. Heels lift, knees bend, weight back, feet two hands, halfway lift, inhale, fold down into the hip crease, exhale. Sit in the chair pose, inhale. Let something release, exhale. Sweep it up, brush the sky, inhale. Thumbs connect, heart center, exhale. Close your eyes, breathe, reconnect, right? You're creating these vacuums. What are you filling them with? What's the frequency you're in? Are you magnifying something that's not working, something that's holding you in a lower vibration? Or you're holding yourself accountable to move into a higher vibration, to a new frequency. Chair pose, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Your journey, down dog, your rhythm, your breath. Quads are active. Pit of the belly lifts you back, down dog, left heel grounds, right foot steps. Inhale, rise up to warrior one. Exhale, express open to warrior two. Flip the front palm, inhale to reverse your warrior. Exhale, your journey, down dog. Chaturanga and up dog if you want. Right into down dog if you don't. Maybe holding plank, left foot, right heel grounds. Warrior one, rise. Warrior two, open. Flip the front palm, inhale, reverse. Exhale to flow, your journey to down dog. Close your eyes, deep breathe, in, down dog, holding yourself accountable. Again, to the frequency, to the vibration you're creating. Heels lift, knees bend, weight back, feet to hands, halfway lift, breath in. Fold down into the hip crease, breath out. Sit in the chair, pose, breath in, let something release, exhale. Sweep it up, inhale, thumbs connect, heart center, exhale. Sorry, I'm going to text my husband, I don't know if you guys can hear my dog, but I can, and I'm afraid it might be bothering you, so I'm going to get my husband to get the dog in the bedroom. Inhale, sorry about that, into chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, down dog, your journey, your rhythm, your breath. Quads are struck, the belly lifts you back. Down dog, left heel grounds, right foot steps. Rise up, warrior one, inhale. Open out, warrior two, exhale. Flip the front palm, inhale, reverse. Exhale, down dog. Your journey, your rhythm, your breath. Quads are for shoulder squeeze back, pit of the belly lifts, left foot steps. Warrior one, rise. Two, open. Flip the front palm, reverse. Exhale to down dog, your journey. Close your eyes, catch your breath.
breath. Attune. Let the calves open. The posterior chain, right? Feeling that stretch in the backs of the legs. Heels lift, knees bend, weight back. Feet to hands. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold down into the hip crease, exhale. Sit into chair pose, inhale. Let something release, exhale. Sweep it up, stand tall, inhale. Thumbs connect, heart center, exhale. Breath cycle. Inhale into chair pose. Exhale to forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, down dog. Your journey, your rhythm, your breath. Left heel ground, you're still in this. Rise up, warrior one, right foot steps, rise. Open out, warrior two. Flip your front palm, reverse. And flow your journey back to down dog. Ha! Side out, right? I was laughing in class yesterday, I'm always going, ha! Because if tension, if energy builds up, I want to let it go, right? Heel grounds, left foot step. Rise, warrior one. Open up, warrior two. Flip the front palm, reverse your warrior. Down dog. We're almost there. I know some styles can feel like a lot out of the gates. Close your eyes. Ah, sigh it out if you're building up more than you want to hold. Use the exhales to release. Heels lift, knees bend, weight back. Feet to hands. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold down, exhale. Chair pose, inhale. Let something release, exhale. Stand tall, inhale. Thumbs connect, heart center, exhale. Breathe, focus. Hold yourself accountable, right, for what you're filling up the space you're creating with. With the frequency, with the intentionality, Chair pose, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Flat back, inhale. Down dog. Your journey, your rhythm, your breath. Knowing chaturanga is only there if it doesn't bother your shoulders. Left heel grounds, right foot steps. Rise. Exhale, open. Flip your front palm, inhale, reverse, down dog. Last sun sound. Falling into the rhythm of the breath. Right heel grounds, left foot steps. Rise. Open. Put the front palm, reverse. Your journey. Down dog. We'll take it back to down dog if you would like a child's pose. Instead, please do. If you would like an inversion instead, please do. We'll take about 10 or 15 breaths to catch our breath, to grab a sip of water, nurture your energy. What do you need, right? Do you need to activate? Do you need to ramp it up or do you need to bring it down? It's all good. As you are ready, lengthen back, down dog. Close your eyes, keep the breath, keep the intention, keep your awareness on the vacuum. What are you filling it with? Right leg pulls up and back, breath in. Right 
foot steps inside, right thumb, breath out, easy twist. Right arm open to the ceiling. From the left quad into the bone, hug your left glute in. Pull your heart forward, pull your navel in, seal your pelvic floor. Keep a sense of buoyancy rising up out of the left arm, right? You're not pressing down. There's a sense of lifting up. Hands to the mat. Sweep the right leg up and back. Inhale. Knee to nose. Exhale. Right leg up and back. Inhale. Knee to left tricep. Exhale. Right leg up and back. These are push-ups if you make them slow. If you really contract, knee to nose, heels and the hands back, knee forward. Right leg up and back. Take your right knee to your right armpit. Pull the heels and the hands back, pull the knee forward. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, reach. Exhale, left armpit, pause. Inhale, here with the knee at the armpit. Exhale, tap the mat behind the left wrist. Inhale, rise the knee to the left armpit. Exhale, tap. I know, shoulders are like, what's that for? Three, two, one. Kick that right leg out, broken triangle. Ha. If you want to flow side to side, right? You are welcome to take it down, sweep it around with lift. If you want to roll onto the heels, opening the torso to the ceiling, it's rock star. I'm going to hold right here and broken triangle. Left hand to the mat, right toes to the back of the mat. Roll to the outside edge of the left foot. Float your right arm, side plank. Left knee can be down, you guys all know that. You might have a good shake going in your shoulders, surrender. Fill the back in with the right frequency, float the right leg, step it up. Take an inhale and low lunge. Exhale, contract to forward fold. Toe heel the feet six inches apart. Peace fingers hook the big toes. Long flat back breath in. Elbows to the side wall, scapula into the back pockets, breath out. Side out, aha. Right again, if tension builds up, you gotta let it go. The breath is a great way to do so. Sit bones lift, knees press back, but only to your max, right? We don't want to rip our hamstrings. Having done it, I promise you, you don't want to. Toe heel the feet into touch, sink the hips, rise into chair pose, inhale. Left tricep over right thigh, right knee forward, left knee back, twisted chair. Press down, press the top hand into the bottom hand to wrap the rib cage around. Equal weight in two feet, right? I just noticed I had a lot more weight in my right foot than my left. Check in and equally weight the feet. Open the knees, even just a hair, and squeeze the glutes closed. Lift the pelvic floor. Transfer weight to the right foot, left foot steps back. You're welcome to hover it along the way. Twisted crescent lunge, you're welcome to turn this into an arm balance. You're welcome to bind or open the arms back up like we did on our first twist. Belly in, left quad, left glute up and in. Torso long, reach the heart, press it down to lift your rib cage off your right thigh. Circle up, warrior two. Ha! Rise up, center, toes out. Heels in, exhale, goddess squat. Heels of the hands and the inner knees. Inhale, stretch the spine. Exhale, right shoulder to left knee. Push the right knee open. Inhale. Exhale, left shoulder to right knee. Inhale. 
Exhale, you got it, just flow. Close your eyes, find your breath, find your frequency. Balance it out. Bring your palms under your shoulders, straighten your legs, quarter turn, low lunge from the studio. Take a breath in from your mat, I guess we're not in the studio. Exhale, step it up, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold in and down. Sweep it up, brush the sky. Dancers pose, left hand catches left inner arch. I like to hook my thumb around my left big toe, wrap the rest of my fingers around the top of my foot, and then kick back. You don't have to kick back. You can stay in traditional quad stretch, staying upright. Kick, pull the crown away from the heel, tip the heart forward. Stretch through the quad, break up, stretch through the shoulder, create the back bend. Rise up, squeeze your left knee into your chest. Nice firm compression in the hip crease. And then exhale into standing half pigeon. Left ankle over right thigh. Sit low, rotate the sits bones back. Lengthen the heart. You can press down on the left knee for a little more stretch. The more forward you hinge from the hips, the more hip stretch you'll have to access. Ha, side out any time. Stand tall, set the left foot down, breath in. Thumbs connect, heart center, breath out. Just hit pause. Close your eyes, breathe and attune. Feel, right? Move awareness around the body. Do you feel some of those vacuums? The space is being created. If you don't fill it up with intentional, something intentional, right? It might fill up with something that doesn't serve. Chair pose, inhale. Set your base, get stable. Take the weight back in the heels and the booty, squeeze and lift the butt legs, and then float the heels. Balancing chair. Such a challenging posture for me, for many of us. Squeeze. The more you squeeze into the midline from the core, the more your balance will be. The better your balance will be, or more. Crow pose. Hands to the mat. We're all set up. You guys all know, if you don't practice crow, you can take a squat. You can make your way right back to down dog. You can play with baby crow. Just crow with your toes on the earth. Step up, jump your feet to the back of the mat, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog, or right into down dog in your journey. Close your eyes, take a few breaths. Side out on the exhales to release. Ha, reattune so the vacuums you create are filled with something useful. Left leg high, breath in. Left foot steps through, breath out. Twist that left arm open to the ceiling, easy twist. Sit low in the left hip, lift powerfully out of the right quad, squeeze that right glute into the midline. Feel a sense of lift out of that left hand rather than pressing down into the right hand. There's a time and place for both, right? We're building heat, so keep it chronic, keep it buoyant. Ha, <sighs> side it out. And like, I must sound ridiculous how much I sigh it out. And I don't think about doing it, it just arises. It's my body's natural response to letting go. Left hand to the mat, left leg up and back. Knee to nose, squeeze. Every one of these is an opportunity for a sit up if you contract. Left leg up and back. Left knee, right armpit, twist. Left leg up and back. Left knee, left armpit. Squeeze, contract. Left leg up and back. You're welcome to hop, so I didn't say that earlier. Knee to nose, squeeze. Left leg up and back. Knee to right armpit. Take a breath in. Tap. Rise for four. 
three, two. I know, shoulders are shaking. One, kick that left leg out, broken triangle. Remember, you can flow side to side. You can come onto the heels, open your torso to your ceiling for rock star. You can stay right here with me in variation of side plank. Right hand to the mat, plank pose. Outside edge of right foot, stamp down through the right hand, side plank. Float the left leg, look at your right thumb, step it up, take an inhale. Exhale, contract to forward fold. Toe heel to feet, six inches apart. Lift the balls of the feet, slide the palms under. Long slam back, flat back, push your scapula into your back pockets. Elbows to the side wall, close your eyes. Ha, use the sides to let it go. Release the hands. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold down into the hip crease, exhale. Toe heel your feet into touch. Chair pose, inhale. Right tricep over left thigh, exhale. The music's starting to ramp up, right? Anytime, a little pulse arises, allow it. Don't suppress it. Squeeze the glutes, lift the pelvic floor, lengthen the spine. Stamp down through the left foot, right foot to the back of the mat. You are welcome to hover it along the way. You're welcome to bind it up here. You're welcome to open the arms. You're welcome to rock back and forth again if you're getting into the movement, into the music, into the prana. Left hand, left thigh, circle up, warrior two. Through warrior two into victory pose, toes up, heels in. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, hug a beach ball, cat pose. You've got to flow. One more, ha. neutral spine, rise up tall. Exhale, open, warrior two, front of the room. Inhale, flip, flip the front palm, reverse. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, step it up. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold, bend it down. Stand tall, breath in. Let it settle for a moment. Thumbs at heart center. Find your equilibrium. Ha. Side it out. I don't think I was aware at all of how much I did that until I started video teaching. Like, I'm constantly going, ha. Ha. Step down through the left foot. Pick up your right foot. Quad stretch. You're welcome to stay right here. You're welcome to extend into Nacho Rajas in the dancer's pose. Make sure you get the quad stretch by pulling the crown away from the heel. Excuse me while I fall. I think I left my balance at Earthwind Fire in the studio. <laughs> I have had the worst balance. But practicing next to walls has been helpful. Rise up, cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Sit back, rotate the pelvis forward so you can probably see right here I am with my pelvis not rotated. Lift it up and back, the pelvis drops forward, so this goes lift up and back. Sideways long. Again, feel free for more of a stretch to press down on your right knee. Hinging deeper into the fold for more of a stretch. Ha.
Stand tall, breath in. Thumbs connect, heart center, breath out. Take a breath or two, again, recalibrate. Toe, heel of the feet into touch, chair pose. Again, set your base. We're gonna do something different this time, so don't rush into crow. Hover the heels, and then with control, very slowly, lower your sit bones to your heels. Take your right knee forward so it's parallel to the mat. Tighten your fingers. You might have to hunch a little bit to reach the floor, and extend the left leg. Try to lift your spine, and maybe play with bringing the thumbs to heart center. Squeeze in, squeeze in, squeeze in. Tuck that left leg in, forward fold. Shake it out, bend one knee and then the other. If you have bad knees, this isn't gonna work for you, right? Too much compression. You can take it into crow, you can wait in a forward fold, you can do whatever you want, you're at home, right? No one's watching. Hi, right, here we go. Halfway lift, inhale. Hold into the hip crease, exhale. Sit in the chair pose, inhale. Balancing chair, cover the heels. When you're ready with control, six bones to the heels. Take your knees forward. Again, feel free to use your fingertips. It's fine, you're gonna have to hunch. Extend the right leg. Once you have that, see if you can lift the heart and maybe play with bringing the thumbs together at heart center for a few breaths. Maybe not, just play, see what happens. Squeeze that right foot in, step to forward fold, toe heel the feet to the edges of the mat, and hang in an easy forward fold. You're welcome to wrap the eye over the elbow around the outside of the knee and pull. With this wider stance, you can't do butterfly. Take, shake your head yes and no. Release your hands, spider pose or firefly. For spider pose, shimmy your shoulders behind your knees, tent your fingers, and take your, a little bit of weight into your triceps. That's it. You should be getting a huge hip and upper back stretch. If that's easy, flatten your hands. If that's easy, float your toes by squeezing your inner thighs into your triceps. Spider's great. It creates the space you need to eventually get here. You can take it back for crow. However you want to get back, your journey to down dog. Ha. Close your eyes and down dog. Ha. Take your knees to the mat, child's pose. If you don't need a sip of water, if you don't need a breather, feel free to hold down dog, feel free to play with inversions. Feel free to stay ramped up if that's where your energy is. I'm personally hitting pause and taking a sip of water. As you are ready, no hurry, down dog. Again, the music starting to kick up. If you want to pulse out the heels, find a little rhythm, let a little rhythm arise. Great. Right leg high, breath in. Knee to nose, squeeze, breath out. This is a sit up, but only if you make it one. Right leg up and back, welcome to take a little hop. Squeeze. Right leg up and back, welcome to take a little hop. Squeeze, two more, with or without a hop. One more. Flex step, right foot through, spin the left heel down. Rise up, warrior one. Spin the left wrist forward, pull the right arms back. Wrap the left quad into the bone, drive energy to the outside edge of the left foot. Rise. 
Feel a sense of buoyancy, a sense of lift from the inner arches through the pelvic floor. Sink down into that right thigh. Feel more energy in the outside edges of the right of the feet and the heels than you do in the inner arches and the balls. You know you can always flow. You can always hold static. Tell you guys, I have a sore, sore hip flexors. So welcome to Warrior One. The more you draw the tailbone down and rise the sideways long, the more you feel that stretch in the left hip flexor. You're creating space there. It's a vacuum. What are you filling it with? Rise the arms, inhale. Open out Warrior Two. Exhale, flip the front palm, reverse. Side angle posture. Take it as deep as your body likes. You can keep the forearm on the thigh, keep it a little more open and spacious. You can slide the right fingers down for a little more depth. Left arm can go straight up to protect the shoulder, or you can extend it over the left ear. Pull the right sideways long, rotate the left ribs open, seal the pelvic floor. Close your eyes and surrender. This is a tough pose. It's uncomfortable. And we use the breath to get through it. We use the breath to look for the vacuums and to fill them up. Take a breath in. Exhale, quarter turn, straddle full. Choices. You can hang in a straddle fold and be static, or you can flow side to side if you want to stay a little more dynamic. You can do a mix. Halfway lift, come back to neutral, quarter turn, front of the studio, rise the fingertips up, high lunge. Exhale, step back, left leg up and over, left leg down and under, Garu Dasana, Eagle Posture. Scapula the down the back, elbows up, thumbs forward, hug the midline, squeeze the glutes. Stand up, bring your left knee up, left hand reaches for left ankle, plug in, tree pose. Firm that right quad so the right adductor presses into the inside edge of the left foot. Pull your left glute up and in. Squeeze that left knee in. Step back, set the left heel down. Warrior one again. Inner leg space the spine. Radiate heart, inhale. Torso rests on thigh or deeper in as you exhale, humble warrior. Close your eyes. Again, like side angle, there's just no getting away from this posture. So go all the way in. Firm your left quad into the bone, wrap the back, seal your pelvic floor, anchor your navel and your spine, completely release the head and the neck. Push the right knee open, right sitting bone towards left heel. Belly in. Side out anytime. Hands to the mat. Center that right foot if you need to get it out of the way. Lift the left heel, right leg up and back. Stack hips roll open. Option to flip your dog. If you're welcome to hold three legged dog. Right hand to the mat, right knee pulls into the chest. Set the right shin bone down, spin the right heel up. Bring the right palm under the right shoulder, float the left leg. Left hand to left ankle if it's there for you. Pull the crown away from the heel. Stretch, quad and hip flexor. Welcome to hip flexor opening. Lengthen out the left leg, float the left arm, keep the left leg lifted. Bring the left palm under the left 
shoulder, bring the right shin bone parallel to the mat, lengthen the right arm, take an inhale. Exhale, elbow to knee. Again, it's like a sit up if you make it one. Just lengthen out, squeeze, powerfully contract. Three more. Next time you lengthen it out, pause. And then again, hand to foot, reach back, right hand, left foot, kick. Lift the heart, pull the heel back. Pull the crown away from the heel. Release to all fours. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Ha! Side out. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Keep flowing. Tuck the toes, neutralize the spine. Down dog, lift back. Big breath in, open mouth, make some noise. No one's there to hear you. Ha. Left leg lifts up and back, inhale. Squeeze, knee to nose. Left leg up and back, maybe you hop. Knee to nose, three more. Next time, squeeze step, left foot through, ground the right heel. Rise up. Warrior one, if you want to flow, we got some beats. If you can flow, if you want to hold static, hold static. Keep lifting, right quad back, left knee open, and pull up and in. Feel more weight in the outside, which is the feet and the heels then the inner arches of the balls. Breath in. Warrior two as you exhale. Press little feet rearrangement, right? Bringing that left heel in. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, settle in. Close your eyes. Close your eyes and surrender. Look for the vacuums. Don't create arbitrarily. Create space. Create space for a reason. To release that which no longer serves and then to refill with that which does. Inhale, exhale, two hands to the mat, inhale, left leg up and back, exhale, step it through, sorry, I'm missing something, spin the right heel down, rise up, sorry, I'm all messed up, from side angle, I know we did humble warrior, Uh, we're going to come in. I'm sorry. I know I messed up, but my brain is not currently working. Rise up, close. warrior one again. Exhale, interlace, face the spine. Inhale, radiate the heart. Exhale, humble warrior. This is what I need you guys not on mute. Colleen always knows where I'm supposed to be. Close your eyes. Hands to the mat. Sweep that left leg up and back. Stack hips roll open. Option to flip your dog. Scissor the inner thighs. Feet can be flat, right? Inner thighs parallel for flip dog, or the right leg can be long with the left heel pop for dancer's table. 
Left hand to the mat. Left knee squeezes in. Set the left shin bone down. Left palm under the right, or under the left shoulder, float the right leg. Kick back. Catch that foot. And find half bow. It's fine. If your left foot's not accessible to you and you need the counterbalance to the right leg, stay open. Half bow if it's here for you. Lengthen back out the right leg. Bring the right palm under the right shoulder. Send the left shin bone in. Float the left arm. Take a breath in. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze. Make it a sit up by deeply contracting for three, two, one. Squeeze, lengthen, and then again, this time, left hand to right foot. Pull the heel away from the heart, the crown away from the heel. Pull your navel in, seal your pelvic floor. Lengthen back out, release right knee to floor. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat. Keep flowing through. I have to apologize. I don't know what I missed, but I know I missed something. If you remember, you can put it in your practice and balance out your body. Tuck the toes, lengthen back, down dog. Here we go. We played with this the last few weeks. It's fun. Just a total expression of freedom. Right leg steps, rise up, warrior one, inhale, open up, warrior two, exhale. Stand tall, victory pose, inhale, body squat, exhale. Rise, inhale, two, exhale, one, inhale, two, exhale. This is on an eight count. Victory pose, inhale, body squat, exhale. Victory pose, inhale, warrior two, exhale. So warrior one, two, victory three, body squat four, victory three, five, warrior two, six, warrior one, seven, sweep the arms back, eight, warrior one, one, warrior two, two, Victory pose, three. Got a squat, four. Five up. Warrior two, front of the mat, six. Warrior one, seven. Sweep it back, eight. You got it. So now on here, you can sink to the music on your own eight count. One. And don't worry, if you mess up, I can't imagine what matters much less than if you mess up in your fun flow, fluid dance yoga sequence, right? It really has no consequence to your day. We're gonna finish this cycle, make our way back to the front of the mat. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Warrior two, open up with the right leg in the lead. Take your time, stretch. Take a reverse triangle, just lengthening through the posture. Pop your left hip, take your right fingertips forward. Trikonasana triangle pose. Keep the right side nice long, the left arm's open, the quads 
active the pelvic floor sealed. Stretch. Again, feel a sense of buoyancy like you're lifting up, not pressing down. Take an inhale. Exhale, fold over the right leg, pyramid posture. Torso can drape over thigh. I'm supporting mine, so I've got a little bit of cranky hamstring. Speaking of, right? If you're missing a yoga block, if you're like, gosh, I wish I had a yoga block, they're like $3 on Amazon. Target is open, they have them, right? Just a very tiny investment for a lot of help with your home practice. If you don't want one, you can always use like a water bottle. Halfway lift, you can stay right in pyramid pose, or you can open your right arm to the ceiling, moving towards twisted triangle. Pull your heart forward, push your right hip back. Raise right, so up, pull your spine as long as you can. Big breath in. Exhale into low lunge. Inhale into plank pose. Exhale to flow. Squeeze the scapula firm, the quads from the pit of the belly, down dog. Ha! Side it out. Few breaths. Left leg pulls up and back. Breath in. Squeeze, step through, breath out. Warrior one, inhale. Sweep back, exhale. Rise, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Victory pose, inhale. Got a squat, exhale. Victory. Warrior two, back of the mat. Warrior one, back of the mat. Sweep. Warrior one, one. Two, warrior two. Victory three. Squat four. Victory three, two, front of the mat, for six, warrior one, seven, sweep back, eight, warrior one, this is one, you got it, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, you got it, just flow. And remember, it doesn't matter if something messes up, if you're free flowing and having fun. One more time through. Take it to the back and then bring it back to the front. Sweep it back in on number one. Open up, warrior two. Straight left leg, lift right hip point. Take it down, triangle pose. Close your eyes, find your breath. Heart might be racing a little bit, just breathe deep and sigh it out to help it settle. Ha. Big breath in, stretch. Exhale, pyramid posture. Torso can drape over left thigh. Close your eyes. Feel the space you're creating, right? Remember how this all started. Being aware that we're creating vacuums and very intentional about what we fill them with. Halfway lift, inhale, you are welcome to hold pyramid posture. Or left arm opens. Triangle twisting. Parvita Trigonasana. Just make sure your spine isn't hunching in towards the left knee. Stay long, stay lifted. 
Keep that right hip moving straight back, the left hip up and back. And then open your heart away from the left knee. Breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, flow. Ha, side up. Take a few breaths. Flat right leg, half pigeon pose. You guys all know that you can do this pose from your back. Right knee outside, right hip, right foot in flexion. Rest, surrender. Let the breath come back to normal. Ready to think back. Hold yourself accountable to those vacuums you're creating. Hold yourself accountable to what you're filling them with. Torso up. Roll onto your right hip. Swing your left inner thigh into the sole of your right foot. Right, hunchy crunchy spine. Lift your spine. Pull the shoulders back and down. Twist over your extended leg. You can take traditional bind, which is thumb open, left thumb down, right palm up and over, or you can just go to the depth that your body allows. Close your eyes. Torso up, roll onto your right hip again. Mermaid pose, we've been doing this a lot lately. So the right foot is in the left thigh. Left hand to right knee twists. A few of you, right, are gonna bring the sole of the right foot into the left hip crease, and then the right hand is gonna reach around and catch the right toes. Come back to center, roll onto your right hip, bring your left knee or your left ankle outside your right knee, right arm around, left knee, scapula down, big tall spine, twist. This is your spinal twist. When we get down to Shavasana, we just go straight into Shavasana. Just observe, we did our half pigeon, we twisted our spine to the right and mermaid to the left in. Matsyangrasana. Roll onto your right hip. Take your left toes to the back of the mat. Play pose. Your journey down dog. You can flow or lift. Half pigeon. Left leg forward. Keep that right hip closing towards the mat. Be aware of the vacuums, be deep into the breath, deep into the frequency. Draw the torso up, roll onto the left hip, bring the sole or the inner thigh of the right leg into the sole of the left foot. Sit up straight, twist over your right leg. Right palm out, right palm down. Fold, John and Shurchasana. Mm -hmm. 
Torso up, roll onto your left hip, bend the right knee. Right quad in the sole of left foot. Right hand outside, left knee, mermaid. And again, for some of you, the left foot can come into the right hip crease. The left hand can reach around for the left toes. So you can keep the hand up or you can place it on the left knee to deepen into the twist. And release the twist. Bring your right ankle over your left knee. Left arm around right knee. Scapula back and down. Crank on the torso, not the neck. Soles of the feet to the mat out in front of you. Roll down the spine, head the knees into your chest, roll side to side. Settle into Shavasana. Close your eyes, fill the vacuums. So Shavasana is where we integrate, right? We spend all that time creating all those vacuums, hopefully filling them with the correct frequency. And then Shavasana is where we just let that all settle in. We integrate, our body integrates the potential cleansing it received. I will leave you here. Shavasana can be as long as you like. You can replay anything. Thanks so much for being here. And have a super spectacular Friday.